So there's this issue that I see a lot of screenwriters have trouble with, and it's something that I had trouble with as well. And that is that when you're writing a script, you get 20 pages in, 30 pages in, and you run into a problem, and you don't know where to go after this point in the story, and then you have a new idea. You have a completely new story idea, and you wanna leave what you have and go to something else. And so then you do. You put this script down and you take this new idea and then you write 20 or 30 pages of this new idea until you run into a problem. And then you think of a new story idea and you leave again and go do something else. And this is a cycle that I see a lot of people go into where they have a new idea and they don't really ever get to the end. They get halfway in or a quarter of the way in or they have 10 perfect pages, but they run into a problem or they hit something that they didn't anticipate and they don't finish. And this is something that I think is a major problem because the way that people actually learn is by finishing something that isn't good. There is a quote by, I believe it is Neil Baringham that says, the grass isn't greener on the other side, the grass is greener where you water it. And I think that's an important thing to understand when you are trying to write a story. Because when you jump to idea, to idea, to idea, the problem is you're actually hurting your learning process. When you don't finish a script, you lose what that script could have taught you. So if you stop at page 35, and this is a, a script that would have gone until like page 110, for example, there's so much you could have learned about what you like about writing, about structure, about characters, about all these elements of story that you will now not learn at this point because you have flipped to another idea. And there's a problem because a lot of screenwriters don't understand that it takes a lot of writing garbage stuff to actually write something that's good. And when you run into story problems, it is actually to your benefit to work through them. Because the reality is writing actual screenplays that become films very rarely start with no problems. They have all sorts of problems and the writer has to figure out how to change things and alter things and focus things to actually create the story that you eventually see. And, and that's, that's only one part because you know, once, once the script is done, then it's handed off to others who have to deal with other sets of problems. But I, I wanna focus obviously specifically on the writing element is that you need to be able to, one, fix story problems and two, to not stop writing an idea just because you have another one that you think is better. And what's really happening a lot of the time when you stop writing one story and jump to another one is that you've just lost motivation to continue writing. You've lost the feeling that you had when you first wrote down the idea for this story. And that's a pretty terrible way to conduct yourself as a writer because that means you only write when you're motivated. And that's a serious problem because you can never do a large volume of, of work when you only feel motivated. And when you think that the first thing that you complete is gonna be this great piece of talent and mastery, it will hurt you in the long run. Whereas if you can say, okay, I've run into a problem on page 25. Now let me brainstorm, take a step back, think about how I can move through this problem and get to the other side and continue writing. And the reality is you're probably right with the idea. Like the idea probably isn't good. You're probably correct. But what happens is you don't learn. You need to be able to go through the process even with ideas that aren't good. Scripts that I have completed are terrible ideas. I look back at them and I say, the, the, the core idea of this thing is garbage and would, be, would never be made and is horribly cliche or any of number of things. And without finishing, you're not able to see that in the correct way. Like, yeah, you may realize that an idea isn't great at page 20, but sometimes the idea might still be good. You just have run into a problem. And sometimes it's an idea that won't ever get made because of your writing level, but is still worth getting to the end and going through the process of it.
And I think part of this problem is bigger than just not feeling motivated. A lot of times people are watching professional writers and hearing the advice of those professional writers and listening to the stories of how a writer wrote a screenplay and then comparing that to their process right now. For example, listening to a writer explain that they had all the core ideas of their story in an instant and they wrote it over the course of two weeks or, or something crazy like that and now here it is and it's great and all this stuff and people the problem with that is people are comparing a professional writer's like 57th script to your second or third script and that's just not a fair comparison and that person has a deeper understanding of story structure of characters of of just their brain is more geared to stories and to how stories work than yours is because they've run through the process and you're able to move faster and make connections quicker and build a story when you have done it over and over and over. So this is really what I want you to come away with today is to focus on just finishing. And if you have all of these half done stories, I'm definitely talking to you. I want you to pick one and I want you to pull it kicking and screaming to the end. It will benefit you dramatically. Just finish. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.